Welcome to the Officer Autumn Show podcast, the realest and most upfront podcast designed specifically for female first responders. I'm your host, Autumn Clifford, and I hope you enjoy this podcast. To the woman who's done dealing with everybody else's bullshit, who's sick and tired of getting kicked while she's down, who's tired of being bullied, harassed, who's tired of being made to feel like she's incapable, who's lost all of her confidence, listen up. If that's you, or if you've been in that situation, or maybe you just don't want to go through that situation, I have created a masterclass that I'm teaching to the women on the front lines, May 18th, in an a digital online masterclass. I'm really excited to be able to offer this to you because it's what I needed when I was being bullied, when I was going through a lot of rough shit. And I want to teach you how to overcome that adversity, how to develop a fighter's mindset, how to develop strong confidence, and how to never let your haters kick you while you're down ever again. If you're interested in this, join us uh seats are limited so as soon as they as soon as we get filled up the class is going to close but hit the link right in the show notes secure your seat there's tons of bonuses when you sign up and i'm really looking forward to meeting you and teaching you how to develop the can't be touched mindset how to be taken seriously by others around you, uh, on duty, off duty, we're going to talk about that. So a question that came up in the DMs is how do I be taken seriously? And I'm, I'm going to just talk to you a little bit about this, okay? So I'm going to give you some hard truths, truths that not everybody's going to agree with, but you know, you came here. And to listen to what I had to say, so brace yourself, per usual, excuse me, burping in your fucking ear. And no, I will not have that edited out because I do try to keep it all real. (laughs) Okay. Listen. The reason why people, okay, so we're going to, I'm going to coach you on this, okay? So the reason why other people aren't taking you seriously, um is because you don't take yourself seriously. So, and like why, you know, people might not be submitting to your command presence. Well, you probably don't have any command presence. Um, And first, that starts with your energy, okay? We've all been around people who just have this commanding presence about them. They you that you I don't know you just automatically like respect them you're like fuck like I'm not gonna cross them like I don't know like what comes to my mind is um like like marine drill sergeants or whatever right (laughs) like they're just so squared away and they don't even have to say anything right and they're just so intimidating um and you're like shit like I'm not fucking doing anything like cross them so you have to ask yourself, like, what in them, what in, like, what is that? What is that, like, intimidation or confidence factor? Like, what is that? And what it is, is a couple of things, okay? So we build confidence, which is going to directly create command presence, okay? By becoming somebody who we, we respect. A lot of times we are not confident in ourselves because we don't actually respect ourselves. And so you have to ask yourself, like, what are the things that you need to be doing in order to build respect for yourself? Sometimes, most times, okay, that's a physical part. A part of it is a physical thing. It just is, you know, and, and um, it can be you start getting into shape. That is, could be a piece of it. Um, lifting heavier weights and building muscles so that like, you know, when people see your arms or when you look at your arms, you're like, fuck yeah, right? A lot of that is learning how to defend yourself and take care of yourself. Whether you're a cop or you're not, okay, it doesn't matter. Just being able to take care of yourself, you are going to develop a presence about you that will literally 
it, it, it's that's that commanding presence because when you go back and you like think about like the marine drill sergeant right that motherfucker male or female does not matter they know how to fight and they're good like they're good with themselves they're not trying to prove themselves to anybody like they are fucking good right and and that's where you have to get but you don't get there from a place of i'm not good enough what i mean that's like the first indicator right like or I'm not feeling very I'm not feeling very confident about myself. People aren't taking me seriously. All of the things. Right. Okay. So there you are. Okay, so maybe that could be you. From this point, we have to look in the we have to self-reflect and look in the accountability mirror, right? And we have to say, okay, do I respect myself? And or what in me do I not like? What in me do I not respect? If I was somebody on the outside of me, what would I not like in myself? It's so fucking important, you guys, because so many people, they don't, they don't take the time to reflect. They're not taking the time to ask themselves these hard questions. And you can skip right over skip right over this. Yeah, Autumn, she's always talking about the accountability marriage. She's always talking about all these things. Yeah, I'm talking about it because it's going to change your life. I, I look in it every fucking day. And it is not easy. And I don't want to look in the mirror. I don't want to go and focus and be like, okay, this part of me sucks. This part of me isn't good. Like, d- does this part of me actually needs to be better? Or can I focus on just taking what's really good in me and making that better? In 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 like some instances, yeah, some instances we don't even fuck with our flaws, right? But when you are a woman who is on the front lines, who could be, you know, in a very physical capacity, you have to right? Like you have to look in the mirror and you have to take the pieces of you that suck and make them better. Okay. So get, get on the mat. Now, look, now we're just going to go back. You've heard me say this. If you've listened to me any amount of fucking time, you've heard this, this will be your hundredth time hearing it, but I'm going to tell it to you again. I think you need to go into a boxing or a kickboxing class before you go train jujitsu. And I'll tell you why. I think you need to go learn how to throw a punch and how to be punched and how to get fucking hit and be able to take it. That is my own personal opinion. Not a lot of people are saying that. A lot of people are pushing jujitsu and I'm going to tell you why. I still, I absolutely agree that you need to train jujitsu. Okay. So I'm, it's not either or for me. It's an and do it all. But if you get into, if you're a little intimidated to go get on the mat, if you're a little intim- intimidated at all, I suggest you go and you start in a boxing or a kickboxing class and not a cardio kickboxing class, okay? A legitimate like kickboxing class where you're going to learn how to fight, okay? You're going to learn how to clinch. You're going to learn how to throw a fucking punch. You're going to learn how to bob and weave. You're going to learn how to fade. Like you're going to learn how to block. You're going to learn how to like deflect and like, all the stuff because that to me is the foundation of everything. A person, not even male or female, a person who knows how to throw a punch and also knows how to take a fucking punch is going to walk around a whole lot different than somebody who's never been punched in the face, who has never been punched in the head, who's never been kicked in the fucking stomach so hard that you get the wind knocked out of you. Okay. Because you have to learn how to fight through this. So you got to know how to do all of this. So go and learn how to do that. Then move to jujitsu or do it all at the same time, which is fine. I mean, I, th- I think it's great. And the thing is, is obviously like jujitsu. So the times that we are in, right? Like jujitsu w- is going to teach you how to submit um, people in it. And it's going to look very good because you're not like punching and kicking and striking, which is really good, right? Especially for this day and age, we obviously don't want to be hurting people if we don't have to. But regardless, that doesn't mean someone's not going to try to fucking throw a haymaker at you, throw a punch at you. You have also need to know how to handle that. And so I believe that that is the foundation. So the question, I mean, it's, this is such a simple question. I'm going on and on about it because the answer is 
if you're not being taken seriously, you're not taking yourself seriously. So then you have to go to the accountability mirror and you have to ask yourself the hard questions. We already went over the hard questions. Then you need to ask yourself like, okay, so how can, how can I feel better about myself? It's always something physically. Then we go, okay, mentally, where is your head at? Are you, are you a negative person? Are you always focused on the negative? Are you always training? Are you always trying to be better? And if you are not, ask yourself why, okay? Now, I do believe in balance from this job, but, and I've said this, you can hear my dog snoring in the background, sorry. And this is what I've said, okay? You are not, uh, you're not gonna find any kind of balance in the first few years of this job because you need to go and you need to train in firearms, you need to train in a martial art, You need to train in the laws. You need to like train in your uniform. I have a whole, like it's a $27 course. I have a whole fucking program on how to feel confident and capable in your uniform. You can get the link right in the show notes. Um, It's the five day become street ready challenge, which will also, it's, that's also being rebranded. So there'll be a new name there, but you, you will be able to access that. And that's going to be extremely helpful for you because you're going, I'm going to teach you the fundamentals, the basics of being confident in yourself now. And it, it, it'll it change you. It'll change the way you carry yourself. It'll change the way you do everything. Um, and I believe that, you know, every officer needs something like that, especially us women, because we're not like, we're not naturally confident. Like we're just not naturally super confident. Uh, society doesn't I, I believe it's a societal thing. Like we're not, it's not like an out of a womb thing. I think it's a societal thing. They, you know, we get taught at a very young age, we're not good enough and we need to be meek and we need to be mild. And a woman shouldn't take up a lot of space and a woman shouldn't say these things. And a woman should do this and sh- and she should do that, and blah, blah, blah. And I, and you know, I mean, I do hope that we are coming out of that era, you know, but unfortunately a lot of us are still kind of raised like that. So I hope that helped. Um, and if you guys have any questions about it, slide into the DMs at Officer Autumn right on Instagram, or you can shoot me an email. Make sure you check out the Can't Be Touched Masterclass. Um, it is literally a piece of my soul that is going into this course. I'm very excited about it. Uh, hit the link in the show notes so you can secure your seat, and I'll see you next time. So I found a soap company that's Leo owned and they make women soap and men soap. And here's why this is important. There's a lot of excellent um, homemade and handmade um, and all natural soap, but they, they don't make men and women's soap. And so I found this company, it's called Patriots and Company. Highly suggest you look it up, uh, look it up and check them out. I have a whole box of their soap that they sent me and I, my favorite one is called American Woman. It's pink, smells amazing. I've been washing with Beautiful Badass. That's really nice too. They have a Whiskey Girl, one that I really like. Anyways, go check it out. They also have scents for men, um, but I wanted to just give them a quick shout out on here because I wanted to tell you about that because look, we're ladies. We need to know the companies that are doing things for us.